you know, heading into October, right? And the upcoming uh, U.S. Uh, presidential election is on everybody's mind. I think that's probably the number one concern for investors globally. And uh, China, obviously, is the hot topic in this presidential election. So I think globally, investors are bracing for, you know, probably more uh, events, event risks uh, related to bilateral relations between China and the U.S. And this case, as SMIC case, I would say it's, it's not that surprising. I think people probably expect something to happen uh, on the technology front. I think if you look at U.S.-China relation, the only thing that's going still on track, still going okay, uh, is probably the trade deal. Um, and you know, beyond that, uh, other things like technology, geopolitical risk related to Taiwan, all of these potentially might get worse. Hmm. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, on the chip sector, Shabai, uh, the numbers that are being quoted there is right now, only 20% of China's chip demand is met domestically. And China's, of course, ambition there is to scale it up all the way to 70% by 2025. Do you think they have the wherewithal in terms of the investment and uh, the infrastructure in place to actually, in this environment, go completely exclusive and onshore with the supply chain, with creating its own supply chain and chips? It will be quite challenging. Um, and I think down the road, um, there are two things that we're watching. Number one is collaboration with uh, manufacturers outside uh, U.S., so, you know, we, we've seen in examples in the past that uh, China collaborated with, for instance, uh, European companies uh, that are not subject to the uh, U.S. sanctions. So, you know, technology is completely made by, uh, owned by um, uh, European uh, companies that uh, they collaborate with Chinese manufacturers. And that's one way to, to handle the situation. And whether, you know, to what extent that will happen in the next uh, few years, that's something that's very critical we're watching. And the other thing is whether China can become more uh, self-sufficient, self-dependent, but at the same time, uh, you know, the, the chip that China make may not be, uh, you know, up to the, may, may not be the, the, the top uh, uh, quality or the most advanced uh, type of chips, uh, but maybe good enough for, uh, you know, making, uh, making phones, iPhone, uh, making smartphones in China. Um, that kind of thing, uh, you know, becoming self-dependent, but you probably sacrifice a bit on quality side. 